Alright, hi guys, little soft man here. Thought we'd do a vid on the Wii today just to make up for yesterday. Okay, I think we gotta turn the brightness up a little bit. Not much. You can see him. Not well, you can see him. Right, so I use this one. As you can see, I've not really played this much, but I really want to because it is a really good game. What it is, is a very much like a puzzle game. So you're basically having to use certain items and certain ways of doing things. This is your crew that you have to go around to find the treasure for. So this is the captain. And you have to point to your maps. This is where your level select. Pit of tragedy. I think this is on like the second level, so I can't see this being quite diff that difficult. To be fairly honest, I wonder why I didn't play this game. I really liked it. It's got quite a As you can see, like it's set up as your chest. It's your main objective. As you can see, there's a locked door there, and you're right. The way you actually control Zach is to basically point and click. If you can point in the, so you just point A and click where you want to actually to go. You see there's your key for your door. Well, I can't really do anything about that at the moment. Right, so we'll go this pot here. Oh, snake! Hello. What you can do with the snake, with the any animal in the game. turn to objects like wiki can change any like creature into an object and so the snake has become a grabber it's like a little so we can use that we go to the little tower itself using the Wii remote as, as stated and there we go we yanked it out So I'll pick up that object. So once you pick up one object, you have to put the other one down. So it's just left there. Right, so I'll take it back down to this door there. Quite tempted to pick up that new Monkey Island out game it's out today. Well, the remake of their first one. There we go. So the key's in. Right. Okay. Okay, so it must be like a hint. So obviously it's not going to be... Okay, I'm going to be honest, I tried this video a little bit before and died about three times before I figured out what I had to do. And this is the second level, so I'm quite embarrassed by that. Okay, so I know I have to get the snake grabber again. I know there is a chain. Uh, here. Make sure you use the... We grab hold of that, and we use the mini remote. This now destroys it. <laughs> and then it goes to the platform. So we can now walk safely across. Because what happened if you walked across before it dropped down and you'd be killed with the spikes. 
So, as you see, you ring them. Your, uh, the treasure's cursed, so you have to use the bell to like get it to work. And it opens it up, and. Well, the whole thing is that you're meant to like, construct this barbarous his body, so this is every single like, part of his body. <laughs> yeah, I didn't use any the last time. No, not at all. I just thought I'd have you show you a little look around here. Whoa. Hi. Don't think we need any more of them at the moment because we've got three each. So you can use them. That was from the first level. The level you didn't see. I think this is like your different options and menus and that. Alright, Journey of Ice Pirate News. Right, okay. Contents, people, places. That must be a sound test. Or sound options. Mysterious treasure and treasure maps. Okay. So a lot of customization things. There we go. Again, I saved. Okay, so you can toggle how it off. I don't think it is there. Alright, well I think that's enough for you today. So, that's Sack and Wiki on the Nintendo Wii. And I'll see you then next time. Okay, as you little soft man. Out.